Hello everybody, my name is JJ Manu and I am an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. Wellness trackers and health monitoring devices are more and more ubiquitous. A key parameter that is measured in all these devices is the heartbeat rate. Today, we will present you three ways to measure the heartbeat rate. Without any de dedicated sensors, engineers contrived how to measure the heartbeat with phone cameras by tracking color changes on the fingertip. These color changes are directly linked to the pulse and it is therefore possible to measure the heart rate using the camera. With this app on Android, I put my thumb on the camera and I get around 70 pulses per minute. This method is not very accurate and the value can depend on the quality of cameras and can change from phone to phone. To get more consistent results, a dedicated sensor must be used. One of the most common methods to monitor heart rate is to use an optical transceiver that contains a built-in infrared transmitter and receiver. When light radiation such as infrared is passed through a blood vessels in a finger, the received light signal is periodic and varies due to the rhythmic flow and absorption properties of blood. When the blood volume at the position where the higher transceiver is placed changes, the amount of light reflected also changes. The change in output of this optical transceiver translates the heartbeat into the electrical domain, which then has to go through a signal conditioning process. Finally, digital logic is needed so as to count the number of pulses per minute. The absorption depends on the quantity of oxygen in the blood, too. Two methodologies are available, the transmission method and the reflection method. The transmission method is used in medical equipment where you clip your finger in a small device. Obviously, this is not very convenient for a fitness device. Hence, the solution for wearables is the reflection method. It can be designed discreetly, for instance, this board has in white the infrared LED and in black the photodiode. Put it my fingers or my finger on both components, the photodiode will get the reflection signal by my finger to the LED. The received signal is only in the range of tens of microvolt, therefore the signal must be amplified. On this board, it is done with a TSU-104, a nanopower operational amplifier from ST Microelectronics. The signal is processed by an STM32 from ST Microelectronics and via Bluetooth to an iOS and Android app. A Bluetooth Low Energy defines an official profile for heartbeat rate. Any application can be connected to it. A third option is an integrated solution. Silicon Labs offer the SI114X family. The Puke includes the SI1147M01, an optical sensor module that provides a highly integrated optomechanical solution for proximity, ambient light, heart rate, and UV index applications. A low power optical sensor, infrared LED, optical blocking, lens, and a cover with apertures are integrated into a compact 2.9 by 4.9 millimeter module IC. If I put my finger on the module, the puke is connected to an application that gives me my heart rate. In this module, the heartbeat rate value is simply accessed through an ASQS C bus, making your design very easy. 